this WordPress tutorial, we'll be adding a sidebar to our full site editing theme. You see my theme that I installed is Ona, and it's a great theme. I'm gonna do a um, tutorial on setting up this blog. Uh, but when you go to the post, you see there's no sidebar. It's just the content here below the featured image. So what I wanna do is create a sidebar for this uh, theme. So, if you have WordPress 5.9, then you go to Appearance and your theme has full site editing. You no longer have the customizer, you have the editor. So go to that. And if you click the W at the top, we'll see we have Templates and Template Parts. If you go to Template Parts, Add New, Sidebar, and General. So you would create that. You see the one I created here and it opens up the Gutenberg page editor and you have the full width to drag your blocks into but this will go inside the column of the uh, of the sidebar that we make so if you click list view at the top you can see kind of how I arranged the blocks um, what I did was um, I'm not going to go through all of these but um, I added the blocks straight down the page, and then this group is just a spacer, a separator, and a spacer. So that way, it looks like I gotta ungroup this. I got two of them in there. All right, so the group is just a spacer, separator, spacer. And then that way, whenever I get to a space where I need to add some space, I just duplicate it. Um, duplicate the block the group block and then just drag it into the new spot so these are all examples of things you could add to your sidebar um, to add them you would just insert before or insert after um, and then you would uh, type in the social icons widget the post author navigation bar I, I did it vertically so over here on the right you see the orientation here how it's justified uh, cover block with a button inside and you could link that link that to a featured post um, the cover just inserts an image in the background and we have query loop so you could insert posts into your query in, into your sidebar and then if you want to specify which, which posts go in there, you would just use this uh, tags feature. And then I added the tag sidebar feature. So any post that I add the tag sidebar feature to will appear in this query loop. And then you can see underneath the query loop after I added it, um, I got rid of most of the stuff. I only use the image and the post title, but it's totally up to you how much you want to use. So if I was to go here and do add another insert before query loop you'll see by default um, let me choose that okay you can do a grid or a list view but underneath query loop you got all this stuff here you can remove it you know remove excerpt remove separator so that's what I did for that let me delete this uh, remove okay and below that I have the separator and then I just have an image so put some Im images in your sidebar you know put uh, a cover with a button or you know all of these are options so after you finish that up we're gonna save it and we're gonna add it to our single post so we go to the W templates Single post is the thing where your blog post appears, the thing that displays your blog post. Okay, we got the title. Oh, let me go to list view. We have a header, a big group, and a footer in this, uh, the way the designer designed it. So underneath the group, we have, here's the featured image. That's this one here. And then below that, we have the post content. So instead of the post content, I want to put in columns above it. And then that will feature the post content on the one column and the sidebar on the other. 
if you want your featured image to be in the column, you would put the column in, you know, right below the title or whatever. So if you see how we do this, um, I'm going to insert a block before. Oh, not, not a block. Let me remove that. Yeah, I'm going to insert the column blocks before. So here's the post content. Insert before. And then I'm going to choose columns. And then I'm just going to do the 7030. All right, so here's our two columns. Now in this one, we need the block post content. And then on this one, we need our sidebar. We start, start uh, template part is what the uh, block is called. And then choose existing. There it is right here. All right. So you'll see that if you don't like the way it turned out, we still have below the columns on the list view the, the original post content. So I would just remove this, and it goes back to the way it was. But you can still edit this, um, this template in the single post. So if you make adjustments to this, it'll save it and um, it'll still be, it'll save the template part. So if I was to um, add another social, I'll just add another Twitter. Okay, so I made another addition to that and we'll see once you hit save, it asks you if you want to save the sidebar and I say yes all right next I wanted to um, oh I just wanted to select the column on the side and then I just wanted to add a little bit of padding to the left side so I'll unlock the padding and I'll add 10 pixels on the left here now I'll just give it a little padding from the post content. And now let's go ahead and look at that. Save it. Save everything. Go to my site. Open up a post. And then right below the featured image, we got our sidebar. Looking good. And then here's the original post content block. And we'll have to remove that. But that's pretty much it for... Um, adding the sidebar. If you are interested in a more comprehensive adding this theme, this blogging theme, it's very nice. Um, I will put a link in the video description as soon as I finish that up. I'm probably going to do that later today. But um, if you found this video helpful, uh, like or sub, always appreciated. And check the video description for more resources.